Well, tonight a bomb threat on an airplane forced an emergency landing right here at the Spokane International Airport. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Creme 2 News 10 at 10, where we give you more news in less time. This story broke just after 6 tonight when we learned a hold was placed on all incoming flights. Creme 2's Kyle Sinchuk has been at the scene for hours tonight. He joins us with the latest. Kyle? Well, yeah, Mark, this is a live picture of that Alaska Airlines plane. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look to the right, you might be able to see some of those passenger windows illuminated. This plane has not moved for several hours, and it's parked a good distance away from the airport. We've learned the Spokane Police Bomb Squad is responding along with the FBI. Now, this plane was on a flight from Atlanta to Seattle when the airline says a man on board made a direct threat to the safety of the aircraft. Spokane Police tell us that threat referred to a bomb on board. Now, the plane was forced to land in Spokane. Passengers were safely evacuated but had to leave behind their luggage. A flight attendant who spoke with us off camera told us passengers were taken to the airport's fire station. We saw airport shuttle buses uh, making dozens of trips between the fire station and the Alaska Airlines terminal later this evening. Now, the man who made the threat midair is in custody and the airport is back to normal operations. But this incident delayed several flights coming in and out of Spokane. The airport was shut down until about 645 tonight. We spoke to one man who arrived around 545 to pick up his wife, only to find out her plane was being diverted to Pasco. And so I waited and waited and waited, and uh, then I checked the reader board again, and now it says that the flight isn't scheduled to arrive until 8.41. No information other than this con continuous delay. Now again, we have seen planes landing and taking off from the airport, but authorities remain on scene at this hour. Alaska Airlines says 177 passengers and six crew members were on board the Seattle bound flight. It's unclear if they're still in Spokane or on another plane to Seattle. Now this is another live picture of that plane. Authorities have not released the name of the man accused of making the threats. We'll continue to gather information. Reporting live from the Spokane airport, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.